And then we're going to put in this broth or oh, the mala broth here. Oh, look at how beautiful it is. Cooking Appa. Hi, this is Cooking Appa. Today, uh, Appa have uh, some uh, friends coming over. Actually, it's my wife, ex colleagues, coming over uh, for uh, just for tea. So I'm thinking to uh, cook up something for them. So, and uh, this is the time when I'm making this video. It is still Chinese New Year, 2024. Um, I have like a lot of families out there. I have a lot of leftovers in my fridge here. Yeah? So I'm using this opportunity to clear my fridge. And this is why you see there is a good spread of ingredient. And it also tells you that, hey, you know, there's no rule as to what you can put in this particular dish. Appa is going to make an instant hot pot. Yeah, in China, there's this thing called Mao Chai. Yeah, it's an instant hot pot. Basically, what you do is you just uh, blanch all the ingredients uh, and put it inside into a big pot. Then you make the mala, uh, mala broth separately and pour the mala broth over the ingredient. That's it. That's how simple it is. Alright, so there's no rule as to what you want to put inside. Uh, use whichever uh, ingredient you like. Right? But very quickly, let me show you what I'm going to add in today. I have some tofu. The tofu must go with a hot pot. Seriously, very nice. And then some fuzhou, my fried fuzhou, my wife's most favorite. And I have some uh, jing zhen gu, yeah? Jing zhen gu. Suddenly I forgot what is jing zhen gu. Uh, someone just uh, write it on the comment section below. Uh, some mushrooms, yeah? And then, uh, oh, enoki mushroom. And then some cucumber. I have some small jagong, yeah? And some uh, cabbage here. And these are some uh, mixed fish ball, uh, fish ball, mixed fish ball. That from uh, yesterday's hot pot and also I have some prawns as well and the prawn I marinated with a little bit of salt and also white pepper then this is how we are going to make the, uh, the malak sauce we have some uh, minced garlic, ginger, fresh coriander roots and also, uh, also shallots uh, some uh, fresh coriander for garnishing later and this is approximately 200 grams of the malak hot pot uh, block yeah? you can buy the ready mix hot pot block or paste and this is the uh, tou pan jiang, the pi xian tou pan jiang, uh, broad bean, broad bean uh, spicy bean paste yeah? and also I have some lao gan ma, some chili oil and also my cooking appa, uh, chili powder for those who are interested you can get it from Shopee Malaysia or Shopee Singapore where you can use this to create chicken stock in 2 seconds that's how I use this uh, very often so like I mentioned earlier this uh, dish is very simple. All you need to do is blanch all the ingredients. So I'm preparing a pot of boiling water now and um, to blanch everything. Then only we will make the sauce separately. All right, so once you have a pot of uh, boiling water, we're going to give it a little bit of uh, seasoning here. Give it some salt. Later, we will not waste this water. We will make use of this blanch uh, water for the rest of the ingredients uh, for to make the mala sauce later yeah then I'm going to put in a little bit of oil and we shall start blanching our ingredient here first of all I'll put in the prawns approximately three minutes you don't want to overcook your prawns then also the tofu I can put it a little bit earlier tofu maybe more than five minutes So different uh, ingredients will have different uh, cooking time. You do need to adjust accordingly, yeah? depending on what is the ingredient you are actually using. I have some uh, jagong here, little jagong, and some mixed fish ball. From the hot pot yesterday. <laughs> See how good is this? This is all the home cooking is all about clearing fridge. <laughs> Alright, we'll come back shortly. Alright, this is after approximately 3-4 minutes. Uh, most of the thing inside is already cooked. I can actually take them out batch, batches by batches. Prawn, definitely cooked. Look at the color and it has already curled up. And prepare a big serving uh, tray or, or plate at the side so that you can actually start uh, arranging yeah, the, 
the, the ingredient yeah item which has uh, which is cooked and move it over to the serving tray uh, that's all and then you have finished your step one this dish only has two steps then I will start uh, blanching the rest of the ingredient yeah your only task is blanch everything that's it oh, can you hear my my wife friend they're all shouting they're all playing games <laughs> okay all right the tofu and the veggie is uh, already cooked now I can actually take it out this is probably after another uh, four or five minutes yeah wow. all right see this is has already become a stock beautiful stock now we are going to put in those that can be cooked very easily these are the fried photo these are the enoki mushroom and also cucumber they are very exciting outside not sure can you hear or not <laughs> all this will take about less about one minute good enough once it's softened i can actually take it out cucumber you can basically eat it raw as well no worries at all exactly one minute i can actually take all this up oh you can put fish you can put meat really up to you oh by the way there's one thing if you have at home put it in roast duck oh if you have roast duck at home seriously it will taste heavenly i don't have roast duck today tried to find from the wet market this morning couldn't find it all right so what you can see here is i have a beautiful broth and then a tray full of blanched ingredient now we are going to make the sauce right i'm going to show you how you can very easily make the malak sauce at home give it some oil you can be a bit generous with the oil don't worry and then you want to saute all the fresh herbs here garlic ginger shallot and also fresh condor roots for saute for a minute or two before we continue right this is after about a minute or two sorting yeah all the fresh herbs here next thing we are going to add in the pea pea sien tou pan jiang yeah a big spoonful and also the broth that is the broth bean spicy paste yeah and then some uh, garlic oil this is the garlic oil from lavakama you can use any garlic oil that you can find Wow. Actually, all this is not spicy at all. It looks intimidating, but it is not spicy, I assure you. But look at the beautiful reddish color. Next thing, we are going to add in the, this is what they call, uh, di liao, yeah? huo guo di liao. The hot pot, yeah, hot pot ready, uh, ready mix, hot pot paste. So you want to slowly render this. All right, uh, you don't need to wait until it is uh, fully melted because I can let it melt in the broth later. Now we can actually add in the broth. Ah, now you can raise the heat. I forgot. No need to let it melt. Let it melt inside. The hot pot broth all right look at how beautiful it is and now i'll really raise the heat and i'll be adding in some of my cooking appa chicken stock powder like i mentioned this will become chicken stock right once everything inside is uh designedly dissolved yeah especially the block yeah the 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 hot pot base uh, paste is uh, ready then you can have a taste. If it's not salty enough, you just use the salt and also sugar to adjust the taste. I taste it just now, it's perfect because uh, remember the broth, uh, the, the soup base that we use is actually uh, the soup base we, we use to blanch the veggie and that one I already added some salt. So basically it's already done. That's how simple it is. We just need to combine the ingredient we blend just now with this. All right, so here's our ingredient. And then we're going to put in this broth, oh the mala broth, yeah. Oh, look at how beautiful it is. Oh, a lot of beautiful chili oil. 
This is not for those who are scared of oil. <laughs> All right, let me see. And then, uh, if you have some uh, white pepper, you can put some white pepper on top. I'm going to put some uh, Sichuan peppercorn powder instead. You can put some hot oil on top if you want, but I think it's necessar not necessary. Lah. This is good enough. All right, I hope you like my very simple video today. Uh, actually, not. Actually, it took quite a lot of time because of the preparation work. Um, but cooking is very simple. If you like my very simple video today, if you uh, do share my video on your Facebook to your friends, come to Cooking Up our Facebook page to click like and follow button. Follow up on Instagram and subscribe to Cooking Up our YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Bye bye.